Mr. T with the tutorial on factoring trinomials when the number in front of the x squared, a, is not equal to 1. An example is shown here, 20x squared minus 53x plus 18. Our first step is to calculate a times c. As can be seen, what I've added to the sheet now is that a times c was 360. Our step, second step is to factor the 360 into pairs of numbers and try to find a pair of numbers that multiplies to be the, neg the positive 360 and adds to be negative 53. I'm going to make a list of the possible factors next. You can now see a list of factors I created. I didn't finish the list. Since my b is negative 53, I need these numbers to add up to a negative number. So I've shown both factors being negative, since when they multiply, they have to be positive. If we add these going along, the first pair that added up to be negative 53 was the pair of numbers here, negative 8 and 45. Our third step is going to be to rewrite our polynomial, and we're going to split the b term, we're going to split it into two pieces. And we're going to split it using these factors that we have here. So we're going to rewrite it as 20x squared plus negative 8x plus negative 45x plus 18. So these two things, if we combine the like terms, gives us what we have. The next step is to group our uh, polynomial, and we group the first two terms, and we group the second two terms. And within each of these groupings, we do a factoring of the greatest common factor. So between these two terms, between 20 and negative 8, both of those terms are divisible by 4. And they also both have an x, so I can factor out a 4x. And what I'm left over with here is 5x minus 2. And I'm going to factor the second uh, grouping here. Both of those numbers are divisible by 9. And since the first term is negative, I'm going to factor out a negative 9. There's no x here, so I can't factor out the x. My leftovers then are 5x minus 2. If you have factored correctly, these two greatest common factors will be the same. So those are one of the factors in our answer. And the two GCFs are brought together to be the other factor, 4x minus 9. So this is the factoring for the original function. This method may look complicated, but it has the benefit of if this is factorable, we'll always get the answer, and we don't do any guess and check. So again, to summarize, we factor, we take a times c, the first number, times the last. We factor those looking for a pair of numbers that add up to be our b value. We split the middle term. Essentially, we are uncombining like terms. We're splitting that using our factors. So in this case, we had negative 8x and negative 45x. When the numbers are negative, you want to lead them with a plus and a minus so that when we put the parentheses here, everything works out correctly. We group the first two terms and the last two terms and do GCF factoring on each group, which I've shown here and here. And if you've done that correctly, the parts in the parentheses here must be the same. If you get different things here, then you've either factored wrong or you had the wrong terms. And then we regroup, taking the beginning parts and the ending parts, and now we have our answer. I hope this helps.